now what we're going to do is basically see how I can fit a camera onto an inflatable kayak. Now before we get into the video, first things first, uh, please hit the subscribe button below if you like these videos and press like and we'll do some more. So basically it's another uh, adventure on my Challenger kayak and welcome to the gorgeous Seely Lake. Um, Seely Lake's about eight kilometres west of town and gorgeous reed lakes and pretty much plenty to explore. So I thought I'd take this, uh, take this kayak out on the lake and test out the camera that I've made. So when I was at Powell River uh, doing the videos reviewing the Challenger 1K1 Challenger kayak, um, it became apparent that the very difficult things to film on uh, because you've got the motion of the water and everything's moving. So a lot of the video that I took when I was paddling around the, um, the ship halts was actually taken oh, via was actually taken via a helmet cam. And the problem is with the helmet cam is you've got the motion of the kayak as you're paddling and you're turning your head. So it's choppy choppy video all the way through. And I thought there's got to be a better way of doing this. But then it, the problem is, is that the kayak is obviously inflatable. So you can't start sticking stuff onto it. You can't start gluing stuff onto it and all the rest of it. So I had a very wet Saturday afternoon working out how I could mount a, uh, mount a GoPro, in this case, to my kayak and do it safely without popping it. But one thing I did like was uh, the use of water pipe and get this anywhere hard hardware stores um, really really cheap and you can get these fixtures that kind of go on it as well so this one is three quarters three quarter inch water pipe um, it also fits perfectly the gopro um, like the handlebars attachments you get for bikes that'll bolt on here absolutely fine as I say these uh, things just clip straight on but how to mount the camera so yes the GoPro attachment is one of them I want to match I want to fit two cameras on here one looking at me and one looking out across the bow of the boat so the idea I came up with is these things Got a spare one of these came through the post and it's um, a GoPro selfie stick. Um, this one's a little bit smaller than the previous one I had, but you get the idea, they're a, a kind of an arm. Uh, but one thing that you do get with them in the base, the base normally unscrews, but you get these tripods and kind of that idea. But what I've found in the past with these is the tripods are too small. They don't do very well at all. The camera tends to fall over. So this one's kind of spare. But what this one does is it slides into the water pipe absolutely perfectly. So what I figure is I can have this and make, make a frame where it kind of sits up a little bit. I've then got full full use of the camera. Um, if I put a, a ball on there, I can turn it around 180 degrees. So I can capture everything. I can capture myself. I can capture the view from the kayak. I can take it from the sides. I can get the paddle. Um, you get the idea. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend is make this, this thing for the kayak and then hopefully go out and give it a go. So basically it came up with this idea and the dimensions I'll, I'll build them into the video at the end but basically it's 70 centimeters long 70 centimeters wide and then these things here are about 25 centimeters just got to hang down um, one piece of water pipe uh, two cross like attachments uh, two right angle attachments and the whole thing costs less than $20 to make and there's a right-hand attachment on here. 
Now the first thing is, we'll go over this a little bit, bit more, is this part here that's on the bow of the boat is quite important and it's important to um, install it with the kayak inflated um, and pull it in as tight as what you can. Then when you deflate it, it all goes loose. When you inflate it again, it tightens up on the, on the front of the kayak. So let's have a look, see what we've got on here. So on the front of the kayak, a right angle, and what size water is it? It's three quarter inch water pipe, and that's just a right angle fitting. Now the, the cord that comes on the kayak, on the side of the kayak here, it basically goes through the hole and down through this part here, I'll call it a cleat, I know it's not a cleat, but it's a tie off point, goes through the cleat, back through, and then it goes through the hole there. You just make the holes in the water pipe with um, um, a screwdriver, just heat it up over the gas hob, and uh, that kind of does the trick. Then tighten it all down, make these a bit tighter than what they come with. And when you inflate the kayak, this thing sits very nicely over the cleat. There's no other real way of tying this thing off. I tried a few designs and it just got more and more elaborate. So this part literally just pushes into there. And then with these two things, they go down the side of the boat. Now I've angled them, which makes it a little easy because all, all it's there to do is to stop the thing from uh, rocking left and right. So this is in quite steady. Because you've used um, a four piece adapter there, the actual down part rests on the deck and gives it that little bit extra stability. Now 16 centimetres back from the front of the, the adapter here, I put an upright and basically this particular tripod fits in there fantastic and then I've just tied it off with paracord as a safety just put um, a clove hitch there tied it off onto there so if it did fall off it'll uh, not go very far but it also allows it to angle the camera and also I can spin the camera around so anything I see on my journey, I can capture it. So that's the idea. So what I'm going to do, and this is a, a good day to do it, is I'm going to go kayaking across the lake. And go across there into the reed bed, see what we can find, and then take it from there. So let's give it a go. Okay, so as I'm paddling back, I'm just going to evaluate my camera, and I think it's performed brilliantly. Um, it's not a lot to say, it just sits on the boat and does its thing. So as I say, I'll give you a quick design of it uh, at the end of the video, just a quick uh, like drawing of what I've done. And if you want to want to make one, then. Uh, Give it a go, comment, and let me know how your adventures went with this thing on the front of your kayak. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching this video. As I say, I'm going to head back home now for my tea and my dinner, or my something or other. Sun's going down. So, if you like this video, please subscribe 
and we'll see you next time and we'll, we'll go and have a look at the footage so see you next time bye bye for now Thank <laughs> you.